a huge week from Daiwa, including Lefty Stees, our special Silver Wolf combo and new fluorocarbon. This month's leftover February bentos featuring the amazing Gerbera from Mega Bass and the next limited drop of the Rafa Custom Baits Joey Shad. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. I am amazing, Jeff. You always are. I don't know how you do. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. What a oh, stuff. Yeah. Look at that. That was sick. Cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday. All right, guys, some breaking news. What's new this week at the Hook of Tackle? What a beautiful post launch. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that gun on that. That's a nice fish. It's cool. Welcome back, my friends. I am Ben with the Hook of Tackle, a Tackle Otaku on Instagram, being joined this beautiful, finally warm Sunday morning by my buddy Jeffrey the King. Jeff, I wouldn't say warm. Hallelujah dude. to spring. It was hot today. Let's drink to spring. It was 81 degrees, dude. Cheers, my friends. It's February. Happy spring, finally. <laughs> it's February. Everybody across the whole country has experienced this warming trend. We're in shorts, we're in, you're in a short sleeve t-shirt. I was sweating bullets today. Dude. Yeah. Oh, thank God. This is terrible. Cheers, guys. Happy Sunday. Hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. This is What's New This Week at the Hookup Tackle. We're talking about some cool new tackle. Some restocks. Some things that aren't tackle but are still cool. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be, Whatever that it's going to be a crazy episode. Just buckle up, Jeff. I got some stuff for you, too. Let's start. Oh. Some baits for you thank people. Thank you. My people. Mm -hmm. Got it. Swim baits. Is that, oh. Okay, relax. <laughs> That's coming. All right. I know a lot of you guys are huge fans of Rafa custom baits. Uh, this is the Rafa Joey Shad. So we get maybe every quarter or so, we're able to secure a batch from Rafa on the Joey Shad. Joey Shad may be one of the more popular garage builder baits on the market right now. It's been catching a ton of big ones, a lot of DDs. A lot of guys, East Coast to West Coast, catch him on it. They're all handmade, hand-tuned, hand-painted by Rafa himself. They have, they're just known for having amazing action without blowing out and catching fish. That's kind of the magical combination, right? So if you are in the market for a Shad Glide, uh, it's about two and a half ounce Shad Glide, maybe three ounce by the time hooks are on it. And by the way, hooks are in the box okay we have them in three colors that we're dropping today so we have black back which is sick in my hands it's that one's sick. perfect yeah right we have bone which always sells out immediately all right and we have natural by the way this is how they're going to come you know it's very important that you get all this stuff yes yeah and then we have natural so just kind of an all-around could be a gizzard could be a shiner could be just about anything yeah. okay so three great colors uh this is a limited but they're always limited batches so they're expensive because they're handmade hand tuned yes one guy building them uh but they're amazing baits so if you guys are adding to the collection or looking to get into a shad glide uh this is a great place to start jeff if you are getting into a shad glide why do you choose say a garage builder bait like this over say something like a spro chad shad what is the thought process that goes through your mind well one of the big keys is that this bait's made out of resin right yep so in most garage bait makers are making resin baits yep. instead of the abs plastic like you see in that spro yep. kgb chad shad now there's benefits to both yep right but the resin what i like always about resin is that it's going to be what I feel a lot more durable. So if you're going to be fishing it around docks, rocks, or trees, or anything like that, where you might accidentally hit it up against something, it's going to be a lot more durable. You're not going to think about, oh, it's like it's going to crack or anything like that. Another great thing is if you find that some of these 
resin baits are sinking too fast, you can literally just talk to the bait maker. You can DM them on you know Instagram, Facebook, and a lot of these guys are always down to help you and tell you like, hey, if you wanted to drill out weight, here's where I put weight, or if you wanted to do this or do that, here's what I would do. And so it's nice to be able to talk to the guy who makes the bait. So like an access into the community. Right, exactly, yeah. it's huge. Yeah. And that, and that connection can really you know go a long way. Sure. So, you don't, can't obviously talk to you know some of the Spro. makers of some of these baits. Right, they right? wouldn't even know what they have right. anyways. We've tried to talk to <laughs> Spro and ICAST. Like, I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's right. A, I don't know. We just built it. for you to Kevin. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, good luck getting yeah. Kevin anymore. He's on a Bahama Island right. somewhere yeah, just chilling. enjoying the success. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, there's a lot of great benefits to buying a garage bait instead of, you know, some of the ABS plastic yeah. baits that you see on the market. Cool. So, there you go, guys. Uh, wall supplies last. Joey Shads from Rafa Customs, those are available now. All right, Jeff, it is that time of the month where we have some leftover bentos yeah. and we just made them available. So by the time you're seeing this, there might be some left. This was maybe one of the best received boxes that we've done 100%. in quite some time. This so we have a, a case you've been living under a rock or your first time to the channel, welcome. welcome. Yeah. I am basically the king around here yeah, who the, actually drinks beer. The drunk. The bum is back there. You're right. His name is Jeff. You'll meet him at some point. Somebody. Yeah. Uh, we have a subscription box and uh, it's limited to only uh, 400 pieces. We have about 360 subscribers, so we keep some extra boxes just to make sure everybody gets their box. They're delivered. FedEx hasn't stepped on them or rain hasn't saturated them or the package is crushed. Uh, once everybody's got them, we release the extra boxes. So today's release day. Okay, so uh, we posted a video on it that a lot of you guys saw, uh, but basically each box has a star, has a limited edition 110 and Pop Max in it. This month's color uh, is Gerbera. Okay, so it's just a really, really, it's a cool color. It's a color. really cool color. Yeah. It's basically a, kind of like a GP Pro purple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With a pink belly. Kind of a bronzish copper back. It's just, it's unique and it's cool and it's different. Uh, so, you know, you're gonna catch a ton of fish on it. It's highly collectible because it's not a color that you see hardly ever. Uh, it looks amazing in the Pop Max as well. It's got the pink tail on it. So uh, you're gonna get the Gerbera along with it. There is a Bumblebee uh, Chatterbait and Trailer, a little small Japanese brand. Uh, there is a bottom-up Chai Beeble, and there is a Game Over Osakana Slide 170 from Raid. Uh, so you got $100 worth of tackle for 100 bucks, including limited drop colors. So those are available now while supplies last. All right, Jeff, another bait for you people. Yeah, right up my alley. Let's okay. go. The Riri Worm. Oh. <laughs> Right. You like uh, how that segment? Yeah. When you hear Riri, Riri, what normally comes to mind? Rihanna. Oh. Bad girl Riri. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's not what I was thinking. Oh. But that's probably a better thing. <laughs> okay. So from Valley Hill, the Riri Curly Worm is now available. Okay. Why is it called Riri? Why do you think, Jeff? <laughs> Uh, let's, open. let's open one up while we hear Riri. this beautiful explanation. Riri this should be good. Riri. Riri Curly. Curly. Mm -hmm. So Curly implies the tail. We got the, that. The Riri part uh -huh. is probably like, um, uh, like, like what you say when you hook a fish, like, like we, but they say re. <laughs> okay. So you don't have any idea, <laughs> is what you're saying. No. Okay. So look, it's got a little dong. Is that when what you that detach is? It? Yeah, it's definitely a penis. Got it. Yeah. So here's basically the design of the worm. It's a curly tail worm. I can tell. Okay. It's got this little front segment so that if you wanted to rig it on, say, a free rig, Texas rig, you can utilize this front piece to basically absorb the tearing. Mm. Right? If it tears or if you don't want it, you merely cut it off and then you can re rig it or you can drop shot it. You can no suck it right there. Uh, of course, oh, you can re-rig. You know, if it doesn't identify as a worm that needs that, you can just have a straight oh. curly tail. Okay, so re re re. re. So this yeah. re-rig, uh, re got re curly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See how it's making sense. So uh, all the good colors. There's rigging explanations on the back. If that did nothing for you, 
Uh, but green pumpkins, you know, scuppernongs, red flakes, pro blues, all that kind of stuff. Uh, really good price point too from Valley Hill. So those are available now. All right, how about a swim jig that's the craziest swim jig you've ever seen? Okay. <clears throat> the Valley Hill Beat Right. Weedless swimming jig. Riri? This is kind of Riri. This, this is my version of Riri, not Rihanna Riri. Oh, that's Okay. All right, let's take it out of the package and let's show you. Okay, here's the idea. The idea is instead of using a weed guard mm -hmm. to make it weedless, right. they were going to utilize the, oh my gosh, if I can get it out. They're gonna utilize the wire coming out of the jig to keep it weedless so that when the fish eat, there's no weed guard in the way and they get full hook. So the hookup ratio is great. Okay, so by tying it here, it basically pushes everything out of the way. If you're coming through a stump, it kind of bumps it up and over the stump instead of you know using that brush guard. So it's kind of a future preventative way of not snagging it in wood and grass. It's just an interesting concept. So a lot of you guys love throwing swim jigs. I love throwing swim jigs. It's a really interesting design. It's kind of cool. Uh, so it'll be a fun one to play with. Have you thrown one like this, Jeff? Never in my life. Okay, so here you go. There's multiple sizes, quarter ounce, three eighths, half, all the normal sizes are in this. And you know, lots of good colors. There's yeah. shad colors, the wakasagis, ones, right? there's bluegills, there's black and reds, there's pinks, right? So, I mean, everything that you would need is in it. It'll be a fun one to play with just in time for swim jig season. So there you go. If that's of interest and you guys like swim jigs, the Beat Rider from Valley Hill, those are available now. Hi, Jeff. I was recently at the Valley Hill factory oh, and okay. had a meeting and just went and played for a little bit. Okay. And I discovered some pallets of stuff that shouldn't have been there. Ooh. So I took it. You just took it home? Yeah. Do they know you took it? In my it? suitcase. It worked great. Oh, they don't know? Not that. actually. It was pallets of stuff that I had oh. sent. But <laughs> I took it and I'm bringing it to you guys. A couple of these you may not see again. Oh. Uh, just depending on how the timing goes and then some of these I was able to negotiate a really good price for you guys So I was able to lower the price. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's kind of go through them So one of those baits that I hope doesn't go away, but with lucky craft kind of being There and first of all, I've been getting a ton of messages about you know, how's lucky craft doing how are things happening? Uh, they're they're still putting pieces back together. Their workforce is still way down because a lot of their employees are still dealing with, you know, family issues, home issues, that type of stuff. But momentum is getting back in their favor and they appreciate all the support and all the help. This is a bait that Lucky Craft makes for Valley Hill, uh, which is the LV 500 GP. Only I found a pallet full of LV 200 GPs that were supposed to be gone. Okay. so. If this is a bait that speaks to you, basically what an LV200 is, is the same size as the LV500, only instead of it having a ton of beads really loud, it's got a single metal knock. So it's just got a plate in there that shifts, so you get that one knocking sound, and then the Valley Hill version has this great blade on the bottom that spins and clacks on the front hook, so you're getting the sound, you're getting the flash, you're getting the clacking. Uh, it just creates a different look and a different vibration underwater, and they're all in Valley Hill colors, okay? So, got a handful of colors, you know, anywhere from shads like that, we've got some bluegill colors, we've got some golds, there's some crawfish, chartreuses. So if this is a bait that you guys fish and pretty much everybody lives on lipless in the spring, uh, this would be a great chance to pick those up. So those are available while supplies last from Valley Hill. Okay, another one that I thought was gone forever, and I was stoked to see this because this is actually one of my favorite wake baits, mm. the Valley Hill Boogie Back. Wow. So this has always been one of our best sellers. Every time we get them in, we sell through them pretty quick. I was able to negotiate a pretty good deal, so they're only $39.99, $29.99. So saves you guys 10 bucks. So if you, it's of interest, you should try it because it's a really cool wake bait. So you basically have this nice kind of bluegill profile. You can hear from the sound, it's got lots of sound. It's a great cover deflecting bill, uh, but it wakes incredibly well and the fish eat it, which is the most important thing. A lot of wakes look great, but they don't really eat it. This one looks great and they eat it. So I'll spec it out for you just so you know what you're looking at. It's 95 millimeters, 40 grams. Okay, so you're about an ounce in 
three quarters, ounce and a half, somewhere in there, okay? So uh, lots of good colors. So anywhere from bluegills, there's some cool frog colors. There's some like chartreuse backs. There's some clear transparents with like abalone in there. There's chartreuses. So whatever you can think of, uh, they have, and it's a great price uh, to pick them up. So there you go, the boogie back from Valley Hill, available now. All right, Jeff, while we're on Valley Hill, I was gonna save this for the end, but I also was able to secure a bunch of rods, and this is really exciting. So Valley Hill makes amazing rods, but the challenge is they don't make them very often. They're hard to get, so supply is usually super limited. So I was able to secure a really good deal for you guys. So there's a couple different models uh, if they're of interest. So the Rison Jaburo, which is their highest end rod, they're usually $4.99 to $5.99. I was able to negotiate if I bought the rest of them for $2.25. Okay, so you're gonna get them for basically half off, uh, which is a crazy good deal. So most of these rods are gonna be a little bit slower and taper, so they're gonna lend themselves to be really good junk fishing rods, really good reaction rods. There's some square bill options in here. There's some spinnerbait options in here. There's some just all around great options. So in total, there's five different models that are available, so you can check them out and see what you like. You can see the styling is super simplistic. It's just a, a full court grip on the back. It's got a very comfortable reel seat, a nice EVA lockdown, and then just really clean styling on there, okay? So if they speak to you, uh, it's a great chance to pick those up. So those are available now. And then also, I was able to secure one model of the Black Scale XP. Now this is a dirty model. Okay, this is one that I couldn't believe they actually had. So the Black Scale XP is just a super clean, very sexy. This one's much more, I would say, modern styled than the Rice on Jabero. Uh, this is the Heavy Downshot Special, which basically is kind of like a Bubba Shot type rod, but you, anytime you're just kind of pitching like a Senko or a Free Rig or skipping a dock, something like that, is a great rod for that. This rod's seven four, it's a quarter to ounce and a quarter, eight to 20 pound line. Uh, it's fast, but it bends just enough to where your casting is nice and accurate. Uh, again, it was 399, I was able to do a deal uh, to get them down to 249 for you guys, so it saves you 150 bucks uh, on those if they're of interest. So if any of those Valley Hill rods speak to you, a great weekend to pick them up, those are available now. All right, let's talk restock really quick on a super important item that just came back in. Okay, literally just inventoried it. So, a word that is very polarizing in this industry, mid-strolling, okay? Jeff's cringing over there, a lot of people are juicing, they're like, oh yeah, strolling, right? So, look, love it or hate it, strolling is definitely a thing. In the strolling world, if you guys are into it, you know the two hottest baits on the planet right now are the Depth Sakamata Shad and the Raid Fish Roller. Okay, Sakamata Shads, just so you guys know, we expect them back in probably mid to late March. Okay, so timing isn't great. I know a lot of you guys are in the middle of strolling season now. However, the four inch fish roller, literally I wish I could show you my DMs. Oh God. And Instagram. It must be ridiculous. Well, I would say at least a third of the Elite Series field has messaged me looking for yep. this. Okay, so if you're not throwing this, just consider using it, okay? It's an amazing strolling bait, okay? So not all colors are back. We expect all the colors to be back next month, but there's some really good shad colors. So, you know, sweet fish, ice killer, chartreuse white, like there's some really good patterns in here. Basically what the fish roller is doing, I think we all understand strolling now, right? But there are a lot of baits on the market and very few that actually work as well as a Sakamata and the fish roller. It's just built perfectly for, you know, either hover strolling or mid strolling. It just has the perfect amount of flash as it's moving through the water to where they eat it, okay? So it's a realistic bait, it's the right profile, and it has that right side to side flashing when you pair it with a range roller or horizon head or whatever you guys are doing. So you might consider adding it if you guys are already using it, you better stock up while we have them. So uh, while supplies last, I'll just preface it that way, the four inch fish roller are back. Well, we're talking about Raid, also a huge restock across the board on all kinds of things, from hard baits to soft baits, uh, head swimmer liberos, which are also super popular right now. Uh, all sizes, all colors are back in those. Level cranks are all back. 
uh, all the top waters are back, the level minnow, all the jerk baits are back. So uh, you can check those out if there's anything you've been waiting for. Everything's back in stock from Ray. All right, Jeff, let's talk about jigs. So two jigs in one episode. This is kind of crazy, yeah. right? This is a new jig from Issei. This is the AK Rubber Jig Junior. Okay, now jigs in general, kind of a dying art, honestly, right? Probably still one of the best ways to catch quality fish, yeah. <clears throat> but with strolling kind of just dominating and taking everything over, it's kind of a dying art, which is sad yeah. because it's such an amazing, effective bait. But let me just show this to you. So these are a compact tungsten jig. Uh, they feature that kind of cool, like owner style hook that I really liked uh, when they used to make a ton of jigs out of that. So it's got a really good hook on it. Uh, it's just nice and compact. Okay, so you see it makes great stuff. Uh, you've got the wire tied skirt on there, good hook, good head, good material. It's kind of a hybrid football head style jig. So you can drag it around, but you can also just kind of pitch and skip with it. And it's got that kind of hybrid weed cutting style head. I think you guys really like it. So all the normal colors you would expect, you know, browns and brown purples and green pumpkins and that kind of stuff. Uh, those are available from Issei. Now, if you're gonna throw a jig, you need a trailer, okay? Common sense would tell you to throw like a little craw. Yeah, yeah. Right, maybe uh, like a three inch craw yeah. or a three inch igu chong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that, Yeah. Perfect, right? right? But what if you wanted to throw pork, but not pork, you wanted to throw plastic pork, right? Now you have some options in like zoom and that kind of stuff, right? right? But if you want to throw bougie plastic <gasps> pork from Norris, the 4.3 inch FG Daddy, okay? <laughs> I wouldn't actually throw this on that AK Junior. This is like a full size plastic chunk. Yeah, oh my God. Okay, <laughs> it's massive. It's way bigger. Yeah, I was gonna say. It's <laughs> way bigger than the jig, but it just slid itself. I mean, you could. You could. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it would really be a slow fall. It'd take forever yeah. to get to the bottom. Um, but here you go. It's just a giant freaking piece of pork. It's kind of hollow on the bottom side. I don't know, if it does something for you, they're available. Doesn't do anything for me. I just throw a crawl. Uh, but a lot of guys like this kind of flappy, porky style action. So uh, there you go, from Norris, available now. Stock up while you can. Before Jeff buys them all. Jeff, you look so disgusted. Do you want to go back to the Riri Worm? Yeah. Let's say you stocked up on the Riri Worm. I did. As I figured you would. Yeah. You're probably going to want to throw it on a drop shot, which is one of your favorite ways to do it, right? right? Now, what else would I throw it on? Nishini makes this amazing Snell drop shot hook. They do? Uh, in a size two. Okay. Right? Yeah. But that's probably too big for that Riri worm or a lot of, you know, other things. So, how about the brand new size five? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's... Now, that's... I don't know why we've skipped from two to five. It's a hell of a jump. But this is what we got. Here we are. Okay, so size two is the original. Now there's a size five. So it's basically like your standard, you know, nose hook, yep. and then mm -hmm. your tiny bait nose hook, yeah. which makes sense as baits are getting smaller and thinner. Uh, this would be a great drop shot dice hook. Yes. Right? So there you go. I know a lot of you guys love this Snell drop shot. That's a good hook. If you don't know how to do it, there's directions on how to Snell on the back, which is nice. But it basically, that bend of the hook allows you to tie it directly to the line so it never shifts, never moves. It's always in an upright position. Uh, so cool to see a new size from Nishini, so those are available now. Or on Nishini, also a huge restock across the board. There's anything you've been missing. The Mazus are back. Uh, their football jig is back, which is an amazing football jig, by the way. No weed guard, hooks them really good. Uh, all their hard baits are back. Their Erie SD, their Erie Topwater, their Chippewa crankbaits. So all Nishini back in stock this week. Another thing for your peoples, Jeff. Holy shit, I thought that was a tackle walk. No, this is for my jams, bro. Dude, I thought that was a tackle box. So, if you guys are fishing out of a boat with no radio, like him. Right, because I like the peace and quiet of nature. No, 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 nobody likes peace and quiet. We like to rock out, Jeff, while we're in our boats. Listen, I wanted to try this, I'm curious, right? So, I like listening to music while I'm fishing. I usually have my 
AirPods in. When I'm by myself, when I'm with you, I just like to fuck with you. But when I'm by myself, I don't want to hear no more birds. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but Megadeth for me, Jeff. And your plan is to use that instead, so everybody can listen to Megadeth? Yeah, I want the whole lake to hear me, okay? This is the Turtle Box Gen 2 <laughs> portable speaker, okay? This is a waterproof, crush proof, super rugged. You can it fall on the lake, it floats, you can drive over it. Uh, basically indestructible speaker, specifically designed for the outdoors. We have them in the store playing now. You can turn it up to full volume, and at full volume, there's zero distortion. So it's a pretty cool thing if this is something you need. Now, if you don't need this, this doesn't make any sense because it's $399. Relax, Jeff, I know it's as much as your boat, right? But if you're a bougie motherfucker, you wanna listen to some radio, right? Without those stupid things hurting your ears, it could go on your quad, it could go on your boat, it could go on your truck bed, you can just walk around with it, right? Listening, you could run. Available now. So there are five colors. This is the tan. There's a gray, there's a white, there's an orange, there's a mossy oak camo. So, I don't know, see what you guys think. There you go, turtle box in stock. Jeff, here, it's for you. I'm buying that for you. Why is it so heavy? <laughs> Holy it's shit. Heavy. Are you sure this thing floats? Yeah, let me see it. <laughs> God. By the way, it's fully Bluetooth. I just assumed that that oh, made yeah, sense, yeah. right? Uh, but there is a USB-C port back there oh, too wow. that you can charge your phone. Oh, so if you're nervous, like, oh, I don't want my phone to die, you just plug it in and it Bluetooths there. And you can connect multiples. So we have two, one in the front of the store, one in the back of the store, and they connect and play off one hmm. Bluetooth. So if you wanted to buy 12 and really let everybody hear you, you could do that. All right, guys, we have a special sale that we started uh, midweek this week. Most of you guys have jumped on it. I'm just letting you know in case you only live here on YouTube, which you shouldn't, by the way, but in case that's you, we have a Sims BOGO sale happening right now. Buy one, get one free. All Sims collab gear that we do with them. So if it has our logo, it could be a Solar Flex shirt, it could be a hat, it could be a cool Santee flannel, it could be a shacket, right? Buy one, get one free. So I know that we're in 80 degrees and I understand a lot of you guys still are looking at snow and ice and normal things, but you know, those poor life decisions that you made mm -hmm. to put you in that situation yeah. could be resolved with a beautiful Sims shacket, mm -hmm. right? So take advantage, half off, but when you buy two, buy one, get one free, all Sims. There you go, boom. All right, Jeff, and let's wrap things up with our friends at Daiwa. Okay. Shall we? So back to back Daiwa weeks. Let's start small and work our way up. Got it. Let's okay. It. All right. How about some new JDM Daiwa fluorocarbon? Okay. Just okay. So the Daiwa Brave Z fluorocarbon is now available. Now these are available in two different styles. There is a bait finesse specific fluorocarbon, and there is a hard type that was like named after me i think hard. i know you do relax Got it. okay so the hard type is basically going to be designed for jigs flipping hard cover something where you need the line to be a little stiffer less slimp to absorb more abrasion resistance uh to give you a little harder hook sets maybe fasten up a softer rod then the hard type would be good for you Bait finesse is pretty self-explanatory, okay? It's built in all kinds of sizes from small up to relatively large sizes. A lot of guys use bait finesse reels in Japan. It's starting to get much more popular here with reels like the Corrado mm -hmm. BFS. It really weren't true BFS reels, but they throw that lighter bait a lot. You can still throw eight pound, 10 pound, 11 pound, that kind of stuff on those reels. Uh, so it's gonna be limper. It's gonna be designed for casting lighter baits uh, and reduce backlashes on those style reels. So it might be a fun line to play with if you guys are into that. So uh, there you go, new floral from Daiwa. Last week, we introduced you to the new Certe, yep. new 2024 Certe uh, that we've been very impressed with. Last week, we only had the 3000 size with the big power handle, mm -hmm. okay? This week, we have the 2500 and the 4000 arrives, okay? So if you want more of a normal 
spinning reel. Uh, there's 2500 size that you're seeing here is also a nice 4000. Uh, the Certate, if you missed last week's episode, basically putting all the best of exist into this reel. It's light, it's balanced, uh, it's got a just crazy smooth drag. There's like literally zero notches in there. Uh, you're gonna get just incredible performance. The one big drawback to Certate over the years has kind of been its weight and that's kind of alleviated now uh, with this model. So I think you guys are gonna really dig it. So that is available from Daiwa. Feel how much lighter that is than the one from last week. Oh my God. <laughs> it's nice, right? Holy shit. Yeah. All right, also last week we launched the 2024 Steez SVT wing. As normal, we launched it in right hand only of course. because nobody cares about no. lefties until this week, uh -oh. okay? Last week of February, I love you guys, okay? The lefty SVT wing uh, is available now in both the H and the XH, and we did a restock in the righties as well. Uh, so if you missed out, didn't get them, whatever, uh, they are available now. So let's just look at it one more time. I can tell you, I told you guys this last week mm -hmm. and I fished it all week again this mm -hmm. week. I love this reel. So if you want to see all the whiny Shimano fanboys hating on me, go check out the video we posted earlier this week about this reel where literally all I did is just talked about it. Yeah. But apparently I'm a no good cocksucker no and good. yeah, <laughs> it's a waste of money. But if you use it, yeah. uh, you're going to love it. I can't say enough good things about it. So all the new hyperdrive system is in it. It's light, it's a redesign. It fits my hand really well. It casts unbelievably, it's super smooth. So there you go, lefties rejoice. There is now a beautiful Steez SVT wing available for you. Uh, those are available now. Okay, also from Daiwa Japan. A lot of you guys have been asking us to bring this guy in. This is the Daiwa Arity. This is a JDM only spinning reel. It kind of positions right around the Certate, which is why you don't really see it in the US. It's crazy light, okay? Weighs nothing. It's a little bit of a graphite type uh, of a look. Super smooth drag, just like the Certate. Uh, it's more out of a, I would say between the Certate and the Arity, the Arity has got a little bit more of like a plasticky vibe to me. Right, it's got, a, it's got more Zion pieces on it, so it feels, I mean, it's light, it weighs nothing, right? So if you want a reel that kind of has the weight of an Exist, but that's not magnesium, so it's not priced like an Exist, the Air Dude would be a good option. So I'm probably choosing the Certate mm -hmm. just because I like the feel of it, but this is an incredibly popular one. A lot of you guys are gonna get super excited about this, uh, that it's here, it's got mag seal, it's got all the great things that Certate has, uh, but in a lighter, body. I'm curious what you think. Okay, so this is a 2500, right? So actually, no, this is a 3000. Okay, I'm curious. I'm going to give you the 2500 Certe okay. and the 3000 Arity. Tell me what you think. This is a 3000? It's a 3000. That's unbelievable. Yeah, it's so light. That's unbelievable. <clears throat> wow. But does it feel a little Absolutely. plasticky? Absolutely. Yeah. It, it, there are some benefits to using Absolutely. that carbon material, that Zion material, and then there are times where it just, I don't know, you know? I mean, it's an expensive reel, it's light, it's beautiful. I'm not trying to downplay it, but the Certate just feels it's like it's built. It feels much closer to the exist. Yeah, it just feels like it's built like a, yeah. a truck. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, hey, options are good. And there's a couple of them for you. Uh, those are available now from Daiwa. All right, let's end with something that's always fun when we get this in. This is, I think, our fourth time getting these in. The uh, Daiwa Silver Wolf Special Combo mm -hmm. is back. Now, these are always in limited supply. Okay, I get everything I can get. Here you go. If you are new to this, this is the SVT Wing Silver Wolf. This is basically, I'm just gonna open it up how it comes. Basically a souped up, blacked out version of like a super sexy made in Japan zillion. Okay. So as it comes, this is the PE special. Okay. So it is, it comes with a shallow spool that's designed specifically for PE line that's braid. Okay. So it's shallow. 
so that you can throw anything from bait finesse to normal size stuff on it. You can put whatever braid you want, uh, but it's specifically designed and tuned for that. Now, what we discovered is all you do is pop that plate off. If you pull that braid spool out and you drop an SLP boost spool on there, then you get the full size spool that you would, same spool that you would get in a Steez Limited. Uh, and then you have both options. You have your braid spool and you have your SV boost. So we include an SLP SV boost spool with the reel. It comes in the box, like $150, $170 upgrade uh, that you get for free. Okay, so for $549, you get the reel and we throw in the free spool. So you can choose to use the boost to use the braid you can do whatever you want with it but you have one reel uh that can kind of conquer it all okay and it's just it's sexy it throws amazingly well i can't i can't even explain it once you put i mean either spool i'm more of a fluorocarbon guy so mine have this spool on there but if you're a braid guy you can leave the pe on there either way it throws incredibly well looks sexy uh so while supplies last those are available now from daiwa japan all right, guys, that is a wrap. Cheers. Happy Sunday. Jeff, you survived. I did. You started the show yawning. Yeah. Then you looked disappointed. A lot of But that. once the re reworm came, it was almost like you, you had a caffeine shot. Yeah. Absolutely. I know you're excited about that My guy. God, dude. Favorite, th other than the re re, favorite thing of the day? You know, seeing that boogie back, back was a surprise. It's nice to see that. I agree. But the only other thing would have to be the turtle box. I know you're excited about that speaker. I'm gonna annoy everybody. Are you just gonna put it on your like, you know, just walk around like old school, like the fucking what were those beatbox or boom boxes boom box. that we used to walk around with the cassette tape in there? <laughs> Dude, you'd have the biggest shoulder ever. By the way, they're they're very they're actually heavy. kind of heavy. Yeah, they're. I don't know how much it weighs, but it feels like it's about 20 pounds. <laughs> would you agree? Yeah, it's, it's surprisingly heavy. So it's, I guess it's got to be to be that robust. So. Uh, guys, if you have questions on anything that we talked about, probably a lot. Uh, you probably do. Yeah. <laughs> Drop it down below. I will get answers for you. Uh, Jeff will put links to all the products. On behalf of myself and Jeff and everybody here at the Hookup Tackle guys, I say this every week because it, it's sincerely, it's really an honor for us that you guys give us time. Uh, if you've been in the store and you've mentioned anything about watching our videos or anything like that, it's, it's really humbling. Uh, that you give us time. So thank you guys for the time you give us on Sunday. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the business. Cheers to you. Go hug your family. Catch a giant fish. Enjoy this beautiful spring weather. And if you're not somewhere that you can do that, buy some Sims. Cheers. Peace.